Welcome back everyone to another episode of Civil Textures. My name is Freddy and today we're going to be looking on how to create an existing ground model in Civil 3D. Now we have not done any tutorials previously in Civil 3D. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go take it nice, slow and easy. And we're just going to look at 2D topographical surface. So basically it means it has no Z values, no triangles, no 3D polylines, nothing. We just have text. And what we're going to do is take that text, we give it a Z value which is basically using the move text to elevation command and then creating a ground model based on that. Now, if you're new to the channel, I upload weekly tutorials on civil engineering topics. And if you have any questions or any new topics that you would like to see, just leave it in the comments below. And as always, share the channel and subscribe so you can stay tuned with the new contents. Now, if you have any further questions like on different topics in civil engineering, you can always ask them in my website and other civil engineers that are members there and myself can answer these for you. Now, without further ado, let's begin. As always, we're going to start with the basic one. We're going to create a ground model from a topographical survey with no 2D information, no 3D information. So let's go new. And now, because we're going to be using the UK and Ireland country kit, what I'm going to do is leave a description where I got it from. So basically, it has loads of tools specifically for UK, which is great. And even it has specified some surface pro styles for us. So what we're going to go do in the tools palette, clicks they use Autodesk Civil 3D UKIE 2021 DWT. Close the previous drawing you've created. And now let's open our topographical survey that we had. So this is a topographical survey. Now this topographical survey was open, but it was not open with using the DWT of the UKIE. So what I would do is control A, select everything, clipboard, copy, go to the drawing that we've created, Right click clipboard paste original coordinates. You can do a double check by doing the ID just to make sure everything was brought in properly. And then we're going to save and we're going to save this one in our civil three folder. And I'm just going to override the one that I already created. Now, if we open our properties panel, and let's make it time smaller, but that's way too big. Click on this text. There is no Z value. And if we click on the point, there is no Z value and that is kind of a pickle so what we want to do is we're gonna go to move text to elevation that is a command where it moves all the text to the elevation now the catch here is if the text has any letters it will leave them at zero so you need to be careful about it in the next step so we're gonna select everything we're gonna move it to elevation okay now the next step is to Go and create a surface. So in the tool space in the prospector, go to surfaces, right click on it, create surface, and let's name it existing. In the description, I would advise to give it the topographical survey uh, number that you got it from. So uh, the name and the revision. And then in the style, I do not like triangulation only when I'm editing. So I'll just leave the contours. And then in the flat gray, let's just make it green just when I view it in the 3D. Hit OK. Now expand the surfaces and click on the existing that you created, not the existing surfaces. And what we're going to do is drag the existing into the existing surfaces folder just so it can be there structured. These folders come with the UKIE uh, DWT. So now what we're going to go do is expand the existing, expand the definition. And in the drawing objects, what we're going to do is right click on it, add. And we're going to select text. Now, this is what we're going to do. But before we do that, let's go and do something. So cancel everything and then go right click, quick select and go to entire drawing, select your text then select your position Z and make it greater than zero. Now, while we're doing this is basically telling the software, look, any text point that is bigger than zero grab it so as you can see there were many texts that I didn't grab so that will not affect our drawing object so what we're gonna go do is right click isolate selected objects then we're gonna go to drawing objects add go to text and just type 
uh, from topographical server for example hit ok and then we're gonna select all of it hit enter and then and the object as relation and as you can see it picked our topographical survey now we picked some roof levels and the way to fix it is by deleting those points to do that you want to go to right click on the existing edit surface style in display enable your points and you'll see your points and then click on the contours of your existing surface edit delete point i'm just going to delete those points because they were from the roof and it's way higher than what I want. And simply just selecting and hitting enter. Same with here. And this one as well. See? 14.36. We've got 7.3. I'm not sure if that's correct. But let me do it again. Edit delete point. This is 10.48. And this one here. As you can see here, when the contours are around something too much, it means like it's spiking. But in this case, it's not that much, and it's just like a probably ground mount. Uh, same with here. But other than that, here it seems that it might have picked up a zero point. So let's have a look. Just hover over it. Is zero? One second. Just hover your mouse over it, and if it's not zero, then you're fine because you can see here elevation. So we are all good. Now. What I want to do is I want to define tiny bit. The these are my bottom of bank. So what I'm going to do is select similar just so I can see where they are. Isolate objects. So these are like kind of my lines. So what I'm going to do is go add the break line and I'm going to do proximity. Now, if I'm not mistaken, proximity basically tells it like roughly that's how we should follow the shape so we're going to select everything and we'll see if that changes something so if we go isolate end object isolation you see it kind of fixed it for us so basically there is no more extending out so now if we go view our ground model so select your ground model by clicking on it and then go object viewer and if you go and view it you can see we missed a high spot there we can delete it later on our points but other than that that is how we create a 3d model in civil 3d so we've got our existing now another thing we could do is just change the contour styles and these kind of things which we can there are plenty of tutorials online but quickly to show you just go right click on the existing model go edit surface properties and then here surface style just copy current selection and just name it for example contours and then in the brackets let's say instead of copy just type existing your style edit surface style you go to display we change our major contours to dark green and light green and hit apply there we go change it so and uh, we're gonna freeze the points as well so edit surface style points freeze there we go. So this is how we create a model from a topographical survey with no 2D information. That is like the quick and very dirty way to do it. And like you, you're not bothered by so much detail, neat and gritty because that's just like a, uh, it's not a developed land. It's just agriculture. So minor off, don't think it will make some so much big difference unless it's a very sensitive project for some other reason but other than that i think we have covered the most aspect of it so now if you find this tutorial useful please consider subscribing as it will help me in the long run and we will come with more and more civil 3d tutorials as i've decided to learn uh, once again civil 3d because i've used it like th three years ago if i'm not mistaken uh, like briefly and then we jumped into PDS and now we'll be doing more Civil 3D as most of you are doing Civil 3D and we will continue doing PDS tutorials and flow. Now micro drainage unfortunately uh, you've messaged me and we cannot acquire license unless I suppose we put a petition together back to Windows and tell them we need to get the micro drainage license so we can create tutorials then I don't see any other way that we can get a micro drainage license as it is very expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, stay safe and I'll see you next time.